knew that our romance had ended until you poisoned my food. Face it, Harl, this stinks. You're certified nuts on wine in 12 states, and you're hopelessly in love with a psychopathic clown. Hey, Puddin'. In this tutorial, I'm going over the well-known character, Harley Quinn, even though I'm the Joker's first love, but we're not gonna get into that. All products that you save me listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Oh my God, where did my head go? I wanna make sure you guys can actually see what I was doing. I'm starting off by painting on three white circles using white body paints. I'm then drawing that line across my neck and looping all three of those circles together, as well as filling in that entire section using a foundation brush. Outlining is like the most satisfying thing ever. I don't know why, it just always looks so nice. I'm outlining my entire left side using red body paint and then switching to a bigger brush and filling in that whole section. Also don't forget to fill in half of your neck. I'm then outlining the other side using black body paint, filling it in and also filling in my neck. To start off some soft shading on the red side, I'm using dark red eyeshadow and just shading around the collar, as well as where the two halves come together, around my sides and also around where my arm bends. To define the shading even more, I mix red and black body paint together and I'm going around the same areas as well as adding some wrinkles where the two fabrics would connect and adding some definition to muscles on my arm. Imaginary muscles, but that's okay. Using black body paint and an angled brush, I'm then going around the collar to make that shadow more defined. You can go around the black side too if you want, but you don't really have to. On the black side, obviously because black shadows aren't going to show up, I'm going to be going in with a highlight. I'm taking white body paint and adding creases where the two fabrics tie together as well as on my side, around the collar, which you want to leave a little bit of what would be a shadow as well there. And I'm also adding some highlights to the red side as well. Using white body paint and a foundation brush, I'm then painting my face white and leaving open the mask for now. Also don't forget to paint your one ear red and your other ear black. For on my eyes itself, I'm lightly applying white body paint and then setting that using white eyeshadow. Go ahead and line your eyes, I'm using the Night Owl Eyeliner. To draw on the mask, I'm using black body paint and an angled brush and just drawing the outline for right now. It does not have to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. The only way it's going to be perfect is if you make a stencil for yourself, but don't stress out about it. I'm then going in with white body paint and creating highlights on each side of the mask. You can then go ahead and fill in your mask using black body paint. I'm also adding some extra white highlights in there as well. Just to define the mask a little bit more, I'm using gray eyeshadow and putting that right underneath the mask to create a slight shadow on my face. For my lips, I mixed the other red and black body paint and I also extended the lips to a little bit more of a point to kind of give a little nod to Mr. J. And if you want your lips to be shiny, you can go ahead and put a red gloss over that. 